We're going to get started with some easy at home DIY Halloween party food, but later in this video you do not want to miss these really fun Halloween party games. And there's also a front porch decorate with me for Halloween, so keep watching. Hey loves, my name is Brianna. Welcome to today's video, which is Halloween homemaking. You're gonna decorate with me, cook with me, DIY with me. I'm also gonna be sharing some Halloween hacks with you throughout this video because I'm trying to plan the best at home Halloween party that I can for our family since we're celebrating at home this year. And I know a lot of you might be in the same boat as well. So I hope that this video helps you. Let's go and get started. So for a fun little Halloween breakfast idea, it's like a little fun hack for you. I'm just gonna use these store-bought cinnamon rolls and make some spider rolls. I'm so excited because my cookbook is officially launching at the end of this week. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I'll have information in my description box in case you want to check it out. Then I have some black sprinkles and these googly eyes, but I'm going to use my black food color and dye the frosting for the cinnamon rolls black as well. So first thing we want to do once these are cooled is we're going to use these mini pretzel sticks to be the spider legs. legs on our spider and then I want to put on my black icing and I'm gonna shake on some black sprinkles too and then before the icing dries completely I'm just gonna add two little googly eyes for the spider that's so cute. <laughs> and if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you're joining our channel today. And I hope that you subscribe and stick around. I do lots of cleaning, decorating, homemaking, and just sharing my motherhood journey. We're about to have baby number three, so lots of changes coming ahead. <laughs> Things we're really looking forward to. So I hope that you join and introduce yourself in the comments today while you're watching as well. So here are the finished cinnamon roll spiders. <laughs> They're so cute. So hopefully these are an easy little breakfast hack for you for Halloween. And if you're like me, I always try to like weave in the healthy foods to the treats as much as I can. But these are gonna be some cute little apple peanut butter monsters. You just need two green apples, some strawberries, peanut butter, some chopped peanuts, and some googly eyes. Her bite is bittersweet because I'm stuck between her lines. She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined. So you just want to quarter your apples and then cut a little slice out to be the mouth. your strawberries right in half because they're going to be the little tongues for the monsters. When 
Alright, so to assemble these, I'm just going to take my peanut butter and put it inside the mouth of the monster. So once the peanut butter is inside, I actually slice my strawberry a bit thinner and I'm going to put that in as a little tongue. And then I just am going to take some crushed peanuts and you can stick it into the peanut butter and it will look like little teeth. And then I want to take my little googly eye, put some peanut butter onto the back of that, and then I can stick them right onto the monster. Ah. All good. Mm -hmm. So then here's your little peanut butter apple monster. So here are those finished monster apples. They're so goofy that they're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Next treat I have is going to be a spooky twist on some chocolate covered strawberries. The first thing I'm going to do is I have these Ghirardelli, they're white chocolate melts. I'm going to put those in a bowl that's over a pan of boiling water. And then I have my strawberries. I would highly recommend washing these and drying these earlier in the day, letting them sit out at room temperature. They get coated in the chocolate a lot smoother if they're at room temperature and that there's no water on them. Okay, my chocolate is nice and melted. So I'm just going to dunk my strawberries in the chocolate so they're nice and smooth. I'm gonna pop them on this plate right here. And every other one, I got some sprinkles that I'm gonna dip inside. let these cool a little bit longer before I finish them up. Next treat I have for you is a twist on the peanut butter blossom Christmas cookies with the Hershey Kisses. But we're going to use the same dough recipe, just a different candy, to make them a little bit spookier. And by the way, the peanut butter blossom recipe is one of the recipes that are in my cookbook. But I Now that the batter is all done, I'm just gonna take a spoon and spoon out one spoonful at a time and roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to roll the ball in just a little bit of sugar. I 
and you want your balls to be about an inch in diameter. Okay, my balls are rolled and dipped in sugar. Why am I laughing at that today? But I'm gonna pop these into the oven. It's at 350. And I forgot to say, they were supposed to go in there for eight minutes and then you pop them out and we'll put the malted milk balls on the top of them then. Okay, so I just took these out. Again, they were in there for eight minutes and now I'm just gonna put my malted milk balls or melted, what are they, malted milk balls, yeah. <laughs> I really can't say anything with balls today. And you wanna put three into each cookie and then we're gonna bake these for five more minutes. Again, I'm gonna put these back in for just five more minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna use this chocolate icing to finish spooking up our strawberries. So here are their spooky little ghost faces on those strawberries. So I will just tell you, this is not my favorite, I think, for making those ghost faces. I ran out, there are these like icing markers that you can get on Amazon. I'll link them. That would make this look so much better and be so much easier to do. But this at least was good for being in a pinch because I ran out of those recently. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to frost these little spider cookies. They are so cute, so easy. I can't wait to send some of these to my grandma too because milk, well, whoppers, but malted milk balls are her favorite thing. So, sorry, I started doing it without talking. So basically from the center, the like one in the middle, you're just gonna draw four lines going to the outside of the cookie with chocolate icing. And this is actually like perfect. That's what I intended to use this frosting for. Not the chocolate covered strawberries. They didn't turn out as nice looking, but I'm such a perfectionist about that kind of stuff. But it does say on this package, it will take about four hours for the frosting, like the chocolate legs to completely dry. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna have to leave these out for about four hours to dry if you're gonna put them in a container where you'll be stacking them so that you don't ruin how the legs look. But there you go, another up close little spider cookie. So this next treat, it's a drink, but we're gonna call it Monster Punch. It's really fun. You're just gonna use some green nerds. If you don't have green nerds, you could just use green food color and then put some ice on the top. And I got these, they're kind of gross. They're these trolley, they're called Popeyes, but they're little gummy eyeballs. So I put one of those in there. And then I'm just taking a fun Halloween paper straw. And these are the Monster Peeps. So I'm just gonna take one of the Monster Peeps and put the straw through it. And it kind of makes it a fun little varnish, so. What you doing, babe? Okay. And these totally could be made into a cocktail too, by the way, because all you could add is like vodka or rum, whatever your favorite mixer is with a spray, and you can make it fun, but I obviously can't do that for a few more weeks. <laughs> so first, add in your green nerds. So I added in ice, and now I'm gonna add in my gummy eyeball. And then just pour it right over the top of this. And then you can just add in your little monster garnish straw. But it's kind of cool because the longer that you let these drinks sit, 
the green from the candy sort of dissolves up into the punch. They look pretty too. neat. And now I have a super easy hack for you for a fun Halloween themed dinner. So you wanna get slices of cheddar cheese and then using a knife, you're going to cut into the cheese just like you would cut a face of a pumpkin. And then you can have little jack-o'-lantern cheeseburgers. So here are the pumpkin cheese faces. My kids wanted spooky and mad. They kind of look the same, but. And look at my mad, and, and look at my mad face. That's your mad face right mm -hmm. there? <laughs> Some of them are happy, and that one's Pussy's mad one. Yeah. And one of the things I always do with our burgers, I add ranch seasoning to them. So we just have like the big thing of the ranch seasoning and I just sprinkle this right into the meat before I put it into the patties. go wash my hands and then I'm gonna cook up the burgers and once they're cooked I'll put the jack-o'-lantern face cheese on them. Even in my wildest dreams Even in my wildest dreams Oh yeah so here you go a little fun Halloween dinner hack I probably should have made my patties a little bit bigger though, so just keep that in mind when you make yours. What are we going to do today? Get some pumpkins for Halloween yeah. and orange ones and white pumpkins. Yes, we can already see there's orange and, and white Christmas pumpkins. Tree. <laughs> no, we're mm -hmm. not getting our Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have Christmas trees here at our nursery too, but we are just getting pumpkins today and we're going to be decorating the front porch. We're going to make it a little spookier, right? What did we say we're going to add to it to make it spooky? Pumpkins and spiders. Spiders. And spider webs. Spider webs. So we're getting all of our materials and then we're gonna go home and decorate. There are flowers. <gasps> there are flowers too, huh? So many. Look at these cool pumpkins. Mommy! Mommy, mommy! Give them some squash. Yeah. Prezi, are you excited to be out of the house? <laughs> I do. See the pumpkin one? See the pumpkin? Ooh, let's have this one. <laughs> well, we're gonna take a look too. I wanna go look at the white ones. Do you see where the white ones are? Ooh, they're okay here. <laughs> wanna look at those too. Here, wait, before you pick any up, we're gonna get a card, okay? Did you find the white ones? Are there any good ones? You like that one? Got some good ones.
Okay, you ready to spook this up, guys? Okay, you help put the pumpkins up there. I mean, then do we put these? I mean, like, one up there? Yeah, we should just kind of, like, make sure it's a good mix of, like, orange to white. Yeah, that looks so cute. Put this one a pumpkin. Can I help with the whips and the spiders? Yeah. We'll do those next. Oh, okay, thanks, sweetie. Oh, nice. I see it. Spooky. But if you're One other Halloween hack that can be really easy is take your ice cube tray, and I know these were in the dollar section at the store. You can take these little plastic spiders and put them in your ice cubes, and it just kind of spooks up your drinks. There's another side of you trying to break so here are those spider ice cubes. They turned out so cute. So fun. So here is what is on the agenda for the Halloween 2020 ghostly games. We're gonna be doing a mummy wrap game, who can wrap up the mummy the fastest, pumpkin bowling, going to have a haunted gingerbread, gingerbread house contest. <laughs> Can't talk today. Halloween bingo. My friend ABCD Learning made some really cute bingo cards. We're going to use hers. And then we're going to have a door decorating contest for indoor trick-or-treating, <laughs> pumpkin memory, and then a pumpkin egg hunt. So lots of fun stuff planned that we'll do as a family later. So here is the Halloween bingo. Again, this is over on abcdlearning.com. They're totally free to print out. And she has like a ton. I think there's like 10 different bingo sheets. So if you have a lot of kids or a lot of family members, she has a bunch and then like the little papers for them you to go through and pull. And I got candy corn as the little placeholders for on the bingo sheet. Okay, and now I'm making the plates for the pumpkin memory game. 
So I'm just doing two of the same exact faces on little orange plates. This is so easy. You can just get these at Dollar Tree. Um, but that way at least the orange plates look like little pumpkins. I'm just using a black Sharpie then to draw the faces on them. Doesn't go as planned. learn from my mistake even though I used a permanent marker <laughs> next time I'll make sure I get paper plates not plastic because I think it will be fine for the game but it would have showed up and like stayed a lot better on paper and I'm just gonna make sure these dry for a while before I pick them up so that they don't smear learn from my mistakes I'm just I'm always not picking the right stuff out. <laughs> okay, two more games I have to set up I'm gonna do the pumpkin bowling so this is the bowling ball these are the pins, except I'm gonna do, like draw on a little cute jack-o'-lantern face and draw little ghost faces on the toilet paper. And then I have these little pumpkin eggs for the pumpkin egg hunt that I have to open, wash those out, and stuff them with candy. So I'm gonna do all the toilet paper <laughs> like that. You know I'm real and I'm here. And then this is the Haunted Mansion cookie kit. I got two of these. So one the ghouls will do, me and Presley and Landon and Adam can do the other. And we're going to take everybody's vote on Instagram. Let the Halloween games begin! Yay! <laughs> Let's go do the mummy wrap. And the mummy wrap. Me. <laughs> Good job, guys. Winner of the mummy wrap was the boys. No. Do it again. That was your first roll. You get five rolls. Hey, I'm your teammate. Hey. Whichever side you roll this on, it's probably going to curve a little bit to that side. So if you're going to roll it like that, then aim at the left one. Okay. See? See it? Okay, so you just got one knocked. Two. No, there's only Two. one knocked down. The other one's still sitting on it. So you got one. No, that's one, but it's okay. You can do another one. Okay. You nope. get five rolls. You only got two so far. Oh. oh. That was one. Okay. I will, I will give her <coughs> Okay. No, last one's four. That was her warm up because she's Hey, Prezi, go ahead. Roll it right into the toilet paper, okay? Yeah, like that. Good! Ooh. She got one. Zero. No, we're gonna give her that one. She got one. Uh -huh. Ooh, another Ooh. one, two. Oh, yeah, see that one's good. Oh. Oh. Zero. Oh. That's boy, that's boy. One extra. Moving. Yay! Oh, sweet. Yay! Sweet. 
<laughs> Presley got four points. Good job, yeah. Presley. I'm not gonna throw it. I could throw it, I'll get strikes every time. <laughs> strikes! Yeah! Wow, I did not expect that much excitement. Yes! <laughs> Oh, mommy. Yay! Strike, mommy. She got them all, Prez. All right, so the boys are up. Two to nothing. Two to nothing. Ghosts. Mommy, you got them down. Two to nothing. That's a ticket. Next one, cauldron. So if you have the cauldron. Is this a Put your candy corn on it, Presley. Look next to the cat. You and I are doing pretty well. Look at mommy, daddy's candy corn. Yeah, you got one too. Is that seat not full? No. Oh, here's one. Now you win. Bingo! Bingo! Yeah. So after bingo, what's the count? One for the girls, three for the boys. Yes, because Daddy and Prezi both got bingo, Mommy, huh? Yes. Mommy! Do it, Prezi! Landon, back up, buddy. Okay. Oh, pick this one. Pick it up. Hurry. We got him. Yay! We got one minute, four seconds. One minute. Good job, Prez. Oh, I didn't know that what's the difference. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Good job. How much seconds? One minute, 25 oh, seconds. Presley, you won. Mommy, I just want to eat the candy. Can you give me a good high five? Because we won, girl. We won, girl. Mommy, I just want one piece of candy because we won. <laughs> one okay. piece of candy. Okay, current score is the ghouls have what? Two. And the boy ghosts have? Three. Three. Ready. Move it, Mom. Set. Go! We're going to use this paper, Prezi. So go take this. Go put this by your door. Too many So here's the girls' door. And this is you have to vote whose you like better. Or, ooh, the boys did. What'd you do? A monster over here? Yeah. A Landon. monster door. Whose do you think was better, Lynn? <laughs> you win for the boys, so I win. We're attempting to make some bat pizza with the olives, and Adam wanted extra pepperoni on his part of the pizza. Wow, look at those haunted houses. And nose and the teeth and the tongue. That is so creative. 
Yours is so cute. Prez, you want to tell everybody about ours? Give a little house tour? Mm. I don't need two, just two doggy eyes. Oh, Prezzy's just enjoying the candy right now, but we went for a more classic haunted house mm -hmm. route. <laughs> And ours, see, ours says Halloween house too, so, so bonus points for, you know, so for creative. It out. <laughs> Every time I hear you say, Go, find him. She's got one. Put it in your bag. Hurry, you gotta go fast. It's who's ever the fastest. One. <laughs> Two. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> we had a little mess. It's okay, here. Put that in your trick-or-treat bag. Presley didn't find <laughs> that one. <laughs> find 12 pumpkin eggs. Two. Three. Four. He's doing pretty good, Dad. Good job, buddy. Five. Six. I wonder where any of them could be. <laughs> 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 All right, Presley won the Halloween candy egg hunt. So the score is three to three. But we looked at Instagram and the gingerbread house decorating contest also went to the ghouls. So the ghouls get another point. And then the door decorating contest went to the boys so yeah. the ghosts get a point so it is tied four to four so you know what the tiebreaker is going to be mm -hmm. mommy and daddy are going to do a worm eating contest okay. so get the huh. so yeah, you guys go outside and start digging them up okay so since we have a tiebreaker there are 15 worms on each plate we're going to cover them in whipped cream and Daddy and I, without using our hands, will have 30 seconds to get as many worms off the plate as possible. Mm -hmm. What's your mouth? Oh my god. <laughs> the boys win! So what do we say to the boys? 
Say congratulations, boys. Congratulations, boys. Oh, good job. 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 Good job.